Hey guys, welcome back to another day, actually day eight. I had to take a look at my look at my box. Day eight of the holiday reseller swap box. So if you're new to the channel or new to this series and don't know what this is, I've linked details down below of what this whole exchange was. But I'm really excited with today's video. And in fact, I put on a vintage sweater that I actually picked up or sourced, potentially thinking it was gonna go to one of my two vintage sellers. Now, uh, Chrissy, who is also known as Frugal Living on Instagram, she's also Reseller Revolution on YouTube. I didn't even know she, I didn't know she knew me <laughs> at all. I didn't know, I don't even know if I knew she followed me. And I'm such a huge fan of hers. I saw her speak at eBay Open. Um, she's just so knowledgeable. She knows a lot of just really great resellers. And uh, when she reached out and said she wanted to be a part of this, I was just like, oh my gosh. I just, I'm so blown away by, and so humbled by some, some of the people, all of the people in this collaboration. Um, so Chrissy, thank you. I love the eBay tape. She does sell, I think, primarily on eBay and Etsy. She sells a lot of vintage. And she is one of the two people that I exclusively made vintage boxes for. I have zero idea of what I put in their boxes other than hopefully some fun stuff that maybe they'll be able to resell. But I picked up this sweater. I think it's, I think the brand was Jennifer Reed and I loved it. I loved the print, I loved the knit, but it was a little heavy. So I didn't put it in either box, but I'm gonna try and sell it myself. Maybe wear it first. It's got shoulder pads, which is really kind of funky. Um, Cause I'm not used to shoulder pads, but anyways. So Chrissy, she um, actually spoke at eBay Open when I went this last, this July. And uh, she was on a panel around global shipping program. And I had already watched her videos on Reseller Re Revolution before. A number of the, the people on that channel, I think it's her channel, but I, she's got other people that make videos as well. They're just so knowledgeable and there's just so much to learn. So it's a channel I highly recommend. And it's it's videos that I think you can go back and know they're just very helpful no matter when you watch them. But she, interestingly enough, Chrissy is vintage only seller, but she finds, she's up in Oregon, she finds a lot of modern stuff. And so she actually does reseller she sells reseller boxes and actually for a very good rate. Um, I think, I think, and I hope I'm not misspeaking. I think it's $4 a pound is what she sells. And she, I think they start at 20 pounds, but basically it helps her make weight at the bins and it allows her to kind of pay less for her vintage, but also sell things, make a small profit on some of the contemporary things, but sell things to, to resellers who maybe don't have access to great product. And Portland or Oregon bins are, I've heard, great. So anyways, definitely check out what I sent her. I'm hoping that maybe she will want to resell some of the stuff I sent her. And I'm excited to see what she threw in here. And definitely check out her other videos. Just lots of lots of knowledge to drop. Um, but one of the interesting things on the global shipping panel, it was with Casa Chic and Wade's Ventures and then her. Um, she kind of said that she, as far as global shipping program, she hopes that they kind of make Canada cheaper because she sells all this vintage. And you know, if you do go global shipping program, it can be sometimes expensive or more expensive than to ship direct. So she was, she had some really great points that she made and I just have a lot of respect for her. So Chrissy, thank you for doing this swap box. Go subscribe to her, subscribe here, do all the subscribing. All right, first up is a bag. This is interesting, a bag with a fun pink trim. Let's see, what are you? I don't know what it is. It's like a nylon bag with this fun pink trim. I guess I'm gonna have to open it. Oh, geez. Oh, Rebecca Minkoff. How awesome. I didn't know Rebecca Minkoff made, this is kind of like an athletic bag. Like a, like a workout bag or gym bag is kind of what it looks like. How fun, oh, there it is. I just needed, I wasn't, I wasn't folding it. So there's the Rebecca Minkoff. Um, how awesome is that? I did not realize that she made this style of bag. Fun lime green pop. So it's definitely like a gym bag. It's in great condition. How fun is that? Um, awesome. I don't know the comps on something like this. Rebecca Minkoff is all over the place as far as comps. Um, some of it can still do a decent amount. I would guess if I had to guess, probably somewhere between 30 to 50, but I've never picked up one of her workout bags. So I'll check on that, but that's, that's awesome. All right, 
let's see. Oh, nice. I love Prana. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. This is beautiful. This is like a mock neck sweater. Feels like it's either wool or wool blend. It kind of has, I don't know what you call this color. It's maroon with kind of that subtle black detail, but um, kind of a different texture on the sides. Oh, it's got this, so you can kind of wear it. It's got the snaps right there, but here's Prana. And I would say the comps on something like this, it does feel very woolish. Yeah, wool blend. So polyester wool blend. Um, so my guess with something like this would be that it runs somewhere between 30 to 40. Um, not all Prana gets a lot, like Prana t-shirts aren't gonna get too much, but a nice sweater like this, that's that's my guess for the approximate comps, but I'll look these, I'll definitely look these up. All right, so I'm just grabbing. Uh, all right, so this is nice. Another, you know, it's workout wear, wear that is um, winter. Maybe it's because I'm so cold right now. It's definitely nice. So this is actually a white and black Nike, sorry, not Nike, pink, which is Victoria's Secret Athletic and one of their lines that's, um, they have like regular, bra they have a lot of like the cute, fun, bright stuff under the pink line. But it's perfect for winter. I know a lot of people love it when they can get the kind of bold pink logo. Um, I've tried, I think I've sold a couple pieces from pink. And I want to say this sh should probably run somewhere between the 15 to 20 range. But I love, love the style. And I think it's going to do well this winter. Actually, this with the Rebecca Mink Off, that's a good combo. Just saying. I'm trying to bundle in all these boxes. <laughs> all right, so another workout. These are kind of fun. Oh, Adidas. Look how fun these are. It's like a, I don't know what you call it. Look at that print. It's got this red print with these plus signs. Does this mean something to anyone? So this is the Tech Fit. So these are leggings. Another really great winter item. Um, crafted for world champions. These are, these are like those, um, really, they kind of suck you in. What's that called? So here's the Adidas logo down here. How fun and funky are these? Uh, perfect for the season, perfect for all the people working out, and I just love the style. So I would guess something like this runs probably 15 to 25, but I'll have to look at more research on that because I'm not 100% sure. All right, this is, I'm not sure. I'm having such, oh, Patagonia. I love Patagonia. It's one of my favorite brands to pick up. Uh, this is a halter dress. I've sold one very similar to this, not as fun of a print. It was, I think the one I sold was pretty basic, but it's this halter dress. These dresses are perfect for traveling or if you're doing like day hikes, kind of casual hikes, they're just kind of a perfect. So it's got the built-in bra and it's just comfortable. So this size, let's see if I can find the, there we go. So it's a size medium and there you go. Uh, such, such a cute print. So with this, I don't remember what I sold that one dress for. Some Patagonia, like the fleeces can go for a lot. Something like this, which is kind of good travel wear or everyday wear. I want to say this should probably go for somewhere between 20 to 30 is my guess. Um, I think that's where I sold it it's somewhere in that range before, but I'll look up comps again. All right, this is Nike. Such great like winter active wear, which I don't find much of because LA where I source doesn't get too cold. So this is a beautiful pink with kind of the black panels or gray panels. It's got the thumb, the thumb hole thing. And this is the Nike Sphere Thermal, size small, just a full zip. And it's kind of a, kind of a quilted, like or textured feels very warm but yeah so pink and gray really great combo again everything's going with this Rebecca Mingoff that's down here so maybe she was going on a theme <laughs> she probably was so I'm guessing with that Nike probably which is an organ the home of Nike so maybe that's maybe that's what it is she finds a lot of Nike because she's an organ and that's their headquarters I believe uh, I don't find a lot of Nike. I think I've said this in a previous video. So it's nice for me to get stuff that I don't typically find very often. So again, Nike. 
uh, my dad's from Portland. So I have gone up to visit aunts and uncles and I think Nike is there, but this is the dry fit, cute little pink. And yeah, I just love getting the athletic wear, especially some of the winter stuff. This is, you know, every day can go under anything, but I'd say with the sport bra, probably somewhere between 10 to 12 is my guess in comps. I'm not sure if I said the jacket. The jacket's probably, just because it's so well made, full zip, a really fun color. I'd say somewhere between 25 to 35 if I had to guess. Maybe a little more or maybe a little less if I look up the, the comps, but we will see. Another Nike. Oh my gosh. I got like a Nike box with like the Rebecca Mean Goff and stuff. This is incredible. Uh, so the, just because I just never find act, active wear or rarely. So these are kind of a textured Nike full length legging. They kind of feel warm on the inside. Um, so this is the Seamless Sans Couture, size large, extra large, dry fit. And it's just this navy blue, and I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up the texture, but to have all of this stuff that's perfect for winter um, is amazing. So I would guess probably for these leggings, I'm gonna have to find this style, just cause these feel very well made and perfect for the season. I'm gonna guess probably somewhere between 20 to 30 for these, but all of this is, is just guesstimates. I will definitely look up comps, but yeah. So Nike, Nike, Nike. I'm just, all the people at my bins just grab that stuff. So I never even get a chance. The Patagonia, which is one of my favorite brands, the Adidas leggings. Adidas is all day. I dream about soccer. That's what I used to say as a, as a kid when I played soccer. The pink, which I think is so fun. The Prana, like this is the activewear box. That's what this is. I'm not sure she was going for a theme, but she picks up a wide variety of stuff. I don't go to the gym. I go on a lot of hikes and stuff, but if I did, this would be adorable. Um, she, you can go watch some of her videos on the stuff that she puts in her reseller boxes, but it's a great deal. And if I needed product, I would definitely buy from her um, because she has a great eye and she's got great products. So Thank you, Chrissy, for being a part of this. I hope you like some of the stuff in your box. It was so much fun to pick up some, some vintage stuff for you and for Vicki. And um, now I have this sweater that maybe I can wear to stay cozy before I sell it. Shoulder pads, very different for me. Anyways, thanks, Chrissy. I can't wait to see more of you on YouTube and meet you again, hopefully, <laughs> at next eBay Open. And yeah, go check out her video of the stuff I sent her down below and subscribe to her. Hit thumbs up here, hit thumbs up there, everywhere. Thanks for watching guys. Come back tomorrow for day nine. I will see you then, bye.